Las Vegas shooting, Paddock's girlfriend denies knowledge of attack. The girlfriend of the Las Vegas gunman who shot dead 58 people on Sunday has said she had no idea what her kind, caring, quiet partner was planning. Marilu Danley's comments came hours before police suggested Stephen Paddock had been living a secret life. They said he may have been planning to escape instead of shooting himself dead, but did not give further details. It is not yet known why he opened fire on an open-air concert, committing the worst shooting in modern U.S. history. Clark County Sheriff Joseph Lombardo told a press conference that Police had found more explosives in Paddock's car at the hotel, along with about 1,600 rounds of ammunition. Paddock had been gambling just hours before he began shooting. He had booked into an apartment at the High Rise Ogden in downtown Las Vegas a week earlier during a different open-air festival where acts including Muse, Lord and Blink-182 were due to play. But he said Paddock's motivations and whether there were any possible accomplices remained a mystery. The FBI's Aaron Rouse said so far no link to terrorism had been found but they would continue to look at all avenues without closing any doors because it was an ongoing investigation. We don't understand it yet, Sheriff Lombardo told reporters, but questioned whether he could have accomplished his plan by himself. You've got to make the assumption he had to have some help at some point, he said. M. Stanley, who spoke to the FBI on Wednesday, expressed shock at the horrible unspeakable acts of violence Paddock had committed. Paddock never said anything to me or took any action which she understood as a warning of what was to come, she said in a statement read by her lawyer. M. Stanley added, I loved him and hoped for a quiet future together. U.S. authorities named M. Stanley a person of interest in their investigation and said they had made contact with her shortly after the shooting. M. Stanley voluntarily flew back to Los Angeles from the Philippines on Tuesday night to speak to the FBI, just over two weeks after Paddock had surprised her with a cheap ticket to enable her to visit her family. While there, he wired her $100,000, 75,400 pounds, explaining it was to buy a house. I was grateful, but honestly I was worried it was a way for him to break up with me, she said. It never occurred to me in any way whatsoever that he was planning violence against anyone. Las Vegas Shooting Timeline 75 minutes from first shots to suspect downed. 2205. First shots fired by Paddock. 22 12 officers reached 31st floor and report gunfire coming from floor above. 22 15 last shots fired into the concert crowd. 22 18 security guard on 32nd floor tells police he has been shot and points them to room. 23 20 SWAT teams enter gunman's room. They find one suspect down. Her sister earlier told Australian outlet 7 News that M. Stanley was sent away so that she will not be there to interfere with what he's planning. Paddock checked into a suite in the Mandalay Bay Hotel on 28 September, reportedly using some of M. Stanley's identity documents. U.S. President Donald Trump, who visited the city on Wednesday, said America is truly a nation in mourning in the wake of the mass killings. Hundreds of people were injured in the attack. President Trump praised the emergency services who battled to save as many as they could despite the danger to themselves. When the worst of humanity strikes, and strike it did, the best of humanity responds, he said as he applauded injured officers. In the depths of horror, we will always find hope in the men and women who risk their lives for hours, he added. Mr. Trump said he was in the company of heroes after visiting the first responders. Words cannot describe the bravery that the whole world witnessed on Sunday night, he said. Americans defy death and hatred with love and with courage. Will the attack prompt more demand for gun control? The shooting has prompted calls for reform to U.S. gun laws. But Mr. Trump, who has been backed by the National Rifle Association, and spoke often of protecting gun rights during his campaign, has tried to steer clear of leaning too far either way. After visiting Puerto Rico on Tuesday, he said perhaps that time will come for a debate.
First Lady Melania Trump joined the president to meet some of the victims and emergency responders on Wednesday. Mr. Trump told reporters at the University Medical Center in Las Vegas, I have to tell you it makes you very proud to be an American when you see the job that they've done. The president was joined by House Majority Leader Kevin McCarthy, Nevada Congressman Mark Amadai and Nevada Senator Dean Heller, who had constituents killed in the attack.